many moons ago. With the forging of six golden symbols, magic returned to this land. But with it came the evil sorcerer Navar, intent on taking this power for himself. I stood against Navar as the land's protector, training the ultimate champions. When the day came, together we defeated Navar in the ultimate battle. But knowing my power, Navar had forged golden symbols of his own, and the spell that was cast to banish him reflected back, sending us both to a far off desolate realm. But the battle fought, only one champion feared the return of Navar and his demons. This warrior sought out the golden symbols lost in the battle and, finding them, discovered my staff of power. Its magic transformed her into the new protector of this land. Now, it is her task to find the true warriors to defeat Navar and save us from his evil. My name is Raven, and I seek the true warriors. 16 of the bravest and most worthy have answered my call. Which of them will conquer the challenges? Who will reach the grand tournament and be named as a true warrior? Navar's evil sorcery has allowed his demons through into our land. But there are few who have the strength and courage to battle them. Now here across the Deep Lock come four fearless warriors who hope to be selected for the Grand Tournament. But if they are to succeed, first they must evade Navar's demons, crossing the waters to reach the safety of their warriors' banners. If the demons get too close to the warriors, they will banish them to Navar's desolate realm. The demons are closing on you. Beware of their touch. Work together and you can defeat these demons. Keep going. You're almost at the shore. And seven, and eight, and nine, and ten. Mark one. Well done, warriors. You made it to safety. Together, these warriors shall compete beneath the banner of the bear. Powerful, curious, and fierce. The bear may fight alone, but it remains forever loyal to friend and family. Our warriors will need such skills to survive against Navar and his demons. Let us meet them. My name is Hanmore. Raven's challenges will be hard, but I'm ready. I'm Larsai. I'm so excited to be here and can't wait to smash this quest. My name is Laydag. I'm here to prove I'm strong enough to become the true warrior. I'm Piapte. Known for my gymnastic agility, I'm a team player but want to win. These four warriors must compete in challenges over the next two days, but only three will face the last stand, where the winner will take their place in the grand tournament with the chance to become a true warrior. Welcome, brave warriors. Your journey here has brought you face to face with many dangers. But you have only just begun to see Navar's villainy. You banished his demons back to him, but he will send more to end your quest. He will stop at nothing to prevent you from gaining the golden treasure rings you seek, for it is these that will determine your fate. Forged from ancient gold and protected by magic long forgotten, I now give you six 
of these treasures to start your treasure hoard. For each challenge that you conquer, you will earn more. For each defeat, you will have to pay. Guard these rings well, my young warriors. For whoever has the lowest number of rings tomorrow will leave this quest. And for those who reach the challenge of the last stand, whoever has the most shall begin the race with the greatest advantage. The quest to become a true warrior begins now. Are you ready to face it? Yes, yes Raven! Raven! Then follow me, for Navar and his demons are already searching for us, and it is best they do not catch us. Come along, my young friends, and we shall see what fate has in store. Warriors, it shows your worth that Navar is so determined to stop you. For his demons are already ahead of us, blocking our path. You came here to prove that you could stand as true warriors, and it seems the time has already come where you must prove your worth. Your only hope of progressing unharmed in this quest is to destroy the demons blocking our path using this catapult. It will take courage, accuracy, and speed if you are to defeat Navar's foul servants. Warriors, are you ready to face this challenge? Yes, Raven! Then, warriors, take your places and let the challenge begin. Navar's demons aim to trap us here and defeat the warriors as they start their quest. The warriors must aim quickly and accurately to destroy the demons before they reach the line of skulls. The shot falls short. Can the warriors defeat Navar's forces? Speed is helpful, but accuracy is better. The warriors must quickly understand how to work together. Perfect. Oh, no. oh, so close. Yeah. Try and rip. Right, we'll stop. Okay, come on. Give him the... Give him the middle one. Oh. So close! Close, but no hit. The warriors must hurry. The demons are fast approaching. The first demon is defeated. These warriors must learn from their first hit. Yeah, get that one. Turn a little bit your way, just turn. Yeah? The other way. The other way. Yeah, sorry. But yeah. If the demons banish the warriors, it will cost them dearly, for I will have to use magic from their rings to return them here. The demons are almost upon you. Okay, you're ready. That's enough. That's enough power right there. A second demon is vanquished. We're better going left. We've got more of a chance than me too. Yeah. Only three steps remain between safety and defeat. Oh, we have to aim at last now, aim at last. Okay. Yeah, we have to do like turn. We're doing really well. We have to turn a little bit. Doing really well. The warriors are truly in danger now. More power, do you think? Okay, no, less. Just go for that one okay. in the middle, otherwise it's gonna get her. If the demons reach that line, I cannot protect you. I hope I can help guide the warriors through this quest. A brave battle that sent two demons back to their vile realm. But despite their efforts, the warriors were defeated. I will have to use my magic to return them from the demon's gaze. To gather the magic I need to save the warriors from Navar's cursed realm, they must each sacrifice a precious ring from their horde. Each warrior now has just five rings. When the demons approached us, I felt really scared and I thought mentally, I need to hit those demons 
I thought we worked well as a team because we all communicated well. But there was no one person leading, we all worked together. I think that the most difficult part of the challenge was actually hitting the demons because we got so close to almost all of them, but we just missed. A hard battle, young warriors. And already you have learned the dangers of facing Navar's demons. You showed courage in difficult circumstances, but despite your bravery, you were defeated. But all of us stand here still. Let us see what the next challenge will bring. Come along. We must keep moving if we are to escape Navar's search for us. Raven of old is calling for me. Raven of old, I summon you. Navar's demons have defeated the warriors in their second challenge. I had to sacrifice four of their treasure rings to save them. Give them time. The warriors control their own destinies, and they will succeed. But it is clear that Navar has learned of their quest and will do anything to stop them. Though my magic can no longer reach your realm, you still have the power to help them. As for me, well, maybe I will discover Navar's plans. I will call for you when I know more. Thank you. Navar attempts to make the passage forward a perilous one for the warriors by cursing the river. I must warn Raven. to calm the river which Navar has cursed. But my magic cannot keep the river calm for very long. Warriors, look before you and you will see that your road forward from here begins on the other side of this craggy chasm. The only way back across this precipice is to use the ropes that sway precariously over the icy river below. But for every risk, there is reward. For hanging above these raging waters are golden treasure rings. It will require bravery and balance to reach them. For you will need to race one against the other to claim them. Warriors, are you ready to cross the challenging chasm ahead? Yes, yes Raven! Raven! Then take your places and let the challenge begin. Yes. This is a straight race to the end, collecting as many rings as possible. The first to reach the other side of this cursed chasm will win the rings they gather. The defeated warrior will take nothing. Ladag has chosen to pass the first three rings. This warrior is yet to learn the true value of the treasure rings. Larsai must beware. Ladag is now far ahead. Navar's cursed magic is strong. He has bound these rings tight with his sorcery. Larsai is catching up. But stops to take another ring. Will this prove his undoing? Only a small stretch before Ladag reaches safety and his reward. Larsai appears mesmerized by Navar's curse. And Ladag is victorious. The most difficult part of that challenge was probably me 
thing because it was really hard to try and get your hands either in front or behind and get good speed up as well. I was planning to go for the last two because then and if Lars I was going for the first two I, there would be a good gap between me and him and when I saw how far behind Lars I was I was really happy to know that I'd won it. I felt really nervous and um, I was just keep thinking I need to do this I need to do this but I, I tried my best. Piatta is off to a strong start ahead of Hanmore. Hanmore must catch up as Piatta goes for the second ring. These warriors are closely matched. Who has the determination to win? The third ring is no easy task. Hanmore tries for a second ring as Piyapta is racing for the final one. Hanmore takes her second ring, but this will mean nothing if Piyapta finishes first. Who will make it to the end first? And Piyapta is victorious. I got two rings and I'm really happy. My tactics was to, if Hanmold was at the same pace as me, was to go for the second ring so that it'd give me a bit of a distance. But then when I saw she was going for the third ring, I thought I'd better go for the fourth ring so that I have a shorter distance to cover after I've got the ring. I was really excited and I just did anything I could to try to get to the end as quick as possible while grabbing some rings. I saw her getting a bit of a lead and then I thought, oh, I need to try and get in front of her. Oh no, she's got the ring as well. But I thought she did really well as well. Yeah, I'm a bit disappointed, but I hope I can come back and get some more. Well done, my young warriors. You gathered your courage and crossed the chasm. As a reward for crossing the cursed chasm first, Piapta and Ladag add their treasure rings to their hoard. Piapta collected two and Ladag one while Hanmore and Larsai must remain on five rings. The test of the true warrior is yet to come. Now, we must be about our quest. From warrior to another, I salute your efforts. Now let us move on to the next challenge. Before you is the perilous pool plunge. A simple enough challenge, for all you must do is walk to the end of the fallen tree trunk and make the jump towards the golden ring that is suspended above the water. Along the way, you have the chance to collect two more precious treasure rings. So, do you risk reaching for the rings or do you play it safe and lose the chance to gain the golden treasure? Warriors, are you ready to face this challenge? Yes, Raven! Then let the challenge begin. Piapta, go forth, my young warrior. As a young warrior, I brave this challenge. I know how tough it can be. Each warrior must choose, walk safely, or take a risk in hope of gaining more treasure rings. For if they lose their footing, they will plummet into the icy waters. Good skill, Piatta, as the walk is perilously narrow. The beam shakes with every move the warrior makes. A brave move, Piatta. Two rings taken. Will this risk pay off for Piapta? Can she get back up to reach 
for the third ring. Have courage, warrior. I'm just feeling a little bit dis disappointed. I got the first two rings, I just couldn't get the last one. I think the hardest part was when you're sitting down to try and get up again because I like tried to pull on the rope but I just lost my balance and fell off. I think as long as I keep going and keep getting two or three rings or as many as there is possible in each one, I think I'll be fine. Marseille, may the luck of the raven die be with you. Piapta took two rings. Larsai must be brave if he has to claw his way back into contention. One ring is taken. Well done, warrior. Now the challenge is to take the third. Good skill, Larsai. Larsai is focused. Any sudden movement will pitch him into the icy water. I can't do it. A true warrior never gives up Larsai. One slip and he will fall into the cursed river. Larsai must show courage. On top of the log, it's really um, high, and you don't think it, but it is. You have to make sure that you don't fall off and you have to keep your balance. And when I got it, I was okay, but I couldn't get myself back up, so I just wobbled and I went in the water, and the water's freezing cold. But I'm proud I got two wings, and I'm happy with that. Lead out, may the luck of the raven's eye be with you. with each warrior so far earning two rings. Can Leda go one better? These warriors are very closely matched. Ladag must demonstrate agility to seize all three rings. A close call, great composure, Ladag. I remember how much the beam moves. So happy I got all three rings. The, the bit at the end, especially, it was absolutely amazing. Where I had to turn without the rope. I am buzzing extremely. It, it, it's just such a weird feeling, kind of a cross between excitement and shock, really. Compared to the other challenges I've done, it, it seemed a lot more simple, yet a lot more complicated, strategy-wise. So I had to come up with a different strategy and think: Should I get this ring or should I not? Going to the next challenge, before I had a confidence boost, now I feel extremely confident. And more. May the luck of the raven's eye be with you. A tough challenge for Hanmore, but she is strong and determined.
this warrior has courage. With her first ring in her grasp, can she secure her second? This brave warrior has secured her second ring. Before I went into the challenge, I was quite excited about it because I knew that this was one of the water ones. And then I was a wee bit nervous because I wasn't sure quite how shaky it was going to be. I think it went quite well. I got two rings. I was really happy with that. And when I was trying to grab for the last one, I just slid off to the side. The warriors have grown in stature and turned their fortune. At the end of today, Larsai and Hanmore have seven rings, while Laydag and Piyapta in today's challenges with nine. You should all be proud. Warriors, we have reached the end of today's journey. Crossing the deep lock, you outwitted Navar's demons. In the challenges that followed, you gathered treasure rings and proved your skills. The four of you have shown yourselves to be both determined and courageous. But now you must rest. For on the sun set tomorrow, one warrior must return home. Stay safe here this night under my protection. Tomorrow, the challenges will begin again and we will see who amongst you will leave the quest to become a true warrior. After a night spent sleeping beneath the stars, our warriors continue their quest to become a true warrior. They have already outwitted Navar's demons and used their skills to obtain precious golden rings that will determine their fate. After four challenges, Laydag has earned nine golden treasure rings and now ties in first place with Piapta. With seven rings each in their hoard, Larsai and Hanmore trail the leaders by only two rings as we begin today's journey. Warriors, you have done well. But at the end of today, the warrior with the fewest rings must return home. Only three will remain to compete for a place in the Grand Tournament. The road ahead waits to be travelled. Let us continue with your quest. Four brave warriors travelled across the Deep Lock to begin this quest. But as we go into the next challenge, they know that at the sun setting today, only three warriors will remain. Danger lies ahead for the warriors. Navar's despicable demons are blocking their path with evil curses. When I was a young warrior, I learned to tame the bow. Navar's demons will not thwart this challenge. Warrior's eye, a challenge of focus, can the warriors use it to gather the treasure rings they need? For at the end of today, one of them must leave us. Out in the field behind you are targets that stand ready to test your skill with the bow. You will receive one more golden ring for each hit in the red circle. Are you ready to face this challenge? We are ready! Then take up your bows and let the arrows fly. You have but a few arrows. Do not waste them. Each warrior has just six arrows to win them treasure rings. Piapta comes close. The arrow must hit the red center to win a ring. 
Ladag must learn from this error. The arrows fly, but the warriors are yet to win a ring. An excellent shot indeed. Larsan's arrow hits the edge of the red center, earning him a golden treasure ring. Yapta hits the board, but not the red center. Only a steady nerve will win rings in this challenge. The third round of arrows. Filling the forest with arrows offers treasure rings to no warrior. Near misses count for nothing. With a lack of power, Hanmore's arrow falls short. Only the red centre will offer gold. These warriors must stay focused. Hanmar is yet to hit the target, but still has two arrows left. You have but a few arrows left. A hit. May Ladag's success encourage the others. It hits, but bounces off. That is very unfortunate, Hanmore. Another close shot. Your final arrow. Use it wisely. A hit in the centre. An excellent shot indeed. Another deflected shot. Very unfortunate. Hanmore's final arrow soars past the target. Impressive bow skills from Larsai. All arrows have been shot, and the warrior's skills have been tested. When I had the last arrow in my hand, I was really tense because I really wanted to stay in first place as well. And then I just aimed it as best as I could. I took the shot and then I got the bullseye. I was so happy, I thought, that this was like the best shot I've had so far. I was continuously changing my technique until I finally hit a bullseye. When I saw the arrow hit the bullseye, I was ecstatic. I was like, did that just happen? Am I, am I dreaming? <laughs> I find this challenge one of the hardest as they just weren't going in, I just wasn't going my way. Going to the next challenge, I feel a bit nervous about it because I sort of need to come back and win. I found the challenge very difficult. You really had to focus on this challenge. I got one and I'm happy that I got one. Larsai, Ladag and Piapta each hit the red center once. A feat which sees them rewarded with a golden treasure ring. Despite Hanmore's effort, she failed to hit the center. So her hoard remains at seven. Warriors, Nabar's demons are gaining on us. Your only escape is through the gates of this fortress. And to break through, you must all work together. Combine your strength and use the battering ram to break through the gates and reach safety. You must think quickly, staying ahead of the demons, facing victory or defeat together. But 
There is opportunity here amongst the danger. For above you and beyond the gates, there are golden treasure rings. You should take this chance to add the golden treasure rings to your hoard. Warriors, how do you feel about embarking on this challenge? I feel excited and we're going to smash this challenge. I think as long as we communicate really well and put the battering ram through the gates and grab all the rings, I think we'll do really well. Spoken like true warriors. Are you ready to face this challenge? Yes, yes Raven! Raven! Take your place and let the challenge begin. Warriors must demonstrate courage, strength, agility and resourcefulness to succeed in this challenge. Navar's demons will pursue the warriors through this challenge and if they catch them, the warriors will be banished to Navar's desolate realm. Then I will only be able to return them by using the magic from their treasure rings. Indecision helps no one. Warriors must have conviction. Reaching the treasure will win each warrior a ring. The warriors are working well as a team. Let's go, let's go, let's go. Right, look out for the wings as well. Yeah. Right, come on, we can do it. Yeah, yeah, it's yeah. fine. Drop, drop, drop. Three, go. Two, one, go. Beware the demons, warriors. You must not get too close. Come on, come on, come on. Right, you don't get, get it. I've got the log just in case. <laughs> Right, a second guys. ring is claimed. Quick, 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 quick! Right, go on, you have to lay down, go, go, go! Right, that... The warriors must hurry, for There's the demons are not coming. far behind. Right, three, two, one, go! go. Run for the demons, get Oh, we're going, one One brave push will reach the palisade. Right, we're going to go three, and three, two, one, go! OK, one more. But I can get the ring for me. Yes, I can, my dad. Another Let's ring is claimed. Now okay. the warriors must breach the gates to escape with the treasure. Hurry, warriors. Unless they use the might of the battering ram, the warriors have nowhere else to go. These warriors must gather their strength. A ring and escape awaits if they break through the gates. The gates are open. The warriors must be quick. I think working as a team, we did really well because we all had like a little job to do. I think it's the best we've done so far as a team and we got the job done quite quickly and the demons didn't catch us. I was a wee bit scared when they were coming close. I felt so petrified, said, oh no, they're gonna catch me, what am I gonna do? I'm gobsmacked that we got all four rings and I'm so, so happy. A strong performance indeed. Having battered their way to success, each warrior gains four more precious treasure rings to add to their hoard. The warriors must now walk the Riddle Rocks. They will have to think quickly if they are to escape the evil sentries that stand watch here. Warriors, we have managed to stay ahead of Navar, but that will not last. Our fastest route forward on our journey means we must cross the Riddle Rocks. There on the path amongst the rocks lies an answer to a riddle. Tease out the answer and you can each go on with one more ring in your hoard. Fail to answer in time or guess the wrong word, then each warrior in your team will lose a ring. Warriors, are you daunted by this challenge? I feel a wee bit daunted, but I should be okay. I feel confident and I'm ready to take on this challenge. Larsai, Piapta, you will walk the riddle rocks first. 
Piapta, you will read aloud the riddle on this board to help Larsai solve the riddle and reach safely to the end. Warriors, are you ready to answer the riddle of the rocks? Yes, Raven! The sands will begin to run as soon as you have read the riddle. Let the challenge begin. The demons stand between the warriors and their prize. The riddle awaits. What's full of holes but still holds water? Warriors, your sand starts now. Right, so what's full of holes but still holds water? Um, because it has to be six letters. Um, it won't be a cup or anything because cups don't. That's when you have three letters. Yeah. Um, could you think of anything that starts with B? Bucket. B U C K E T. B U C. That's K E T. But buckets don't have holes in. No. These warriors communicate okay, well, but a wrong today. answer here will come at the expense of a golden treasure ring from their hoard. Uh, a sponge. A sponge. sponge. Wait, hang on, wait. S P O N G E. That's yeah. six. So let's see if that works. Okay, so. Wait, no, don't step on it yet. Okay. S P O N G E. Wait, yeah. let's just think of other answers, yeah, just so in what? case. A sponge works. Um, um, this riddle is causing much indecision. Time runs short, warriors. If you know the answer, then you must try it. Should we just risk it and go with sponge? Yeah, risk, risk for sponge, yes. OK, so S-P-O-N-G-E, and it works. Right, so S... Yeah. P... O... o N... G... G E. A right answer. Piatta can now follow the correct path okay. to the treasure ring. Yes. Yes. Oh, yes. 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 The resourcefulness of these warriors has earned them treasure. Usually riddles aren't my favourite thing to do, but I thought um, working with Larsai was really good because he helped me solve the riddle and I think we did really well. We communicated very well as a team. It feels great to win a win. The riddle rocks lie before Ladag and Hanmore. Can they fall on from their fellow warriors' success? A new riddle awaits. They have no flesh, feathers, scales or bones. Yet they have fingers and thumbs of their own. What are they? Warriors, your time starts now. OK, so, okay. so no they, flesh, feathers, feathers, scales or bones. So they don't have like, so they're not really like a bird or anything like that. They don't like an, yeah, they have creature. fingers and thumbs. Okay. So it can't be a So it definitely can't be a anything. live thing, because everything at least has one of those things. Yeah. A vocal approach from the warriors, speaking their minds, will serve them well in this challenge. Maybe it's something that keeps you warm, almost. Gloves. OK, that's what we're going to put. G-L-O-V-E-S. What else? What else? What else? It could be... So what about... I mean, a coat, some, there's no a, M, so it can't be mittens. doesn't have Some fingers. coats can have, like, mittens attached to it, but yeah, that might not but... be it. I'm trying to see if there's anything else, because, like, like, if we get this wrong, it's really bad. Uh, Hanwar and Lady Dad like, must be more gloves. decisive. Okay, we, okay yeah. gloves have fingers and bombs of their own, because it's... Yeah, cause they have, cause yeah and it hands. has six letters, and is there a G? G-L-O-V-E-S. Your time is almost up. You must work quickly. I right, think I'm going to okay. go for it. Okay, ready? Okay, G L O V E S. Okay, I think that's it. I think that's it. Okay, yeah, that must across. be it. Right, come across, come across. A correct answer. Okay. Hanmore G must walk G the path quickly before L the time runs out. O V E S. OK, 
Yes! Well done, warriors. Yes! One more rank. Yes! One more rank. One more rank. Yes! That's so good. Well done. I think winning a ring is really motivating, actually, and really exciting. Yeah, I found it really exciting, and I hope that we keep on winning more rings. Mm. Yeah. A successful challenge. Each warrior gaining a ring to add to their treasure hoard. But there is only one more challenge remaining, and every ring will count when we reach the end of today. With the challenge of the Riddle Rocks complete, Hanmore, you have the fewest rings amongst the warriors in this quest. Should it remain this way by the end of today's challenges, then you will return home. But one more challenge remains, and you may yet take the rings you need to carry on. Let us go on, warriors, and see what fate has in store. Navar's demons close behind us. We only have one way forward. We must go on to Dead Man's Gorge. Here in Dead Man's Gorge, a watery grave awaits the unweary in the chill waters of the river below. It's not a way forward I choose easily, for I know the dangers it represents. But time is pressing. So each warrior must demonstrate their courage by jumping down into this icy flow. Carried downstream, you will reach a pool where a demon is waiting in ambush. As you navigate your way down this torrent, you must grasp at least one of the golden treasures that hang above you. Do this and the demon cannot harm you. But any warriors who fail to grasp the treasure will forfeit a ring from their hoard and so harm their chances of becoming a true warrior. The river awaits. Warriors, are you ready to face this challenge? I feel excited and a bit nervous at the same time. I feel confident and I know I'm going to win this challenge. Well spoken, warriors. Then step forward and let the challenge begin. These raging rapids stand between the warriors and their chance to reach the last stand. The attack. Go forth, my young warrior, and let the challenge begin! Look to the next ring, Piatta. Second ring is taken. The demon is passed unharmed. The jump in was probably my favourite part because I got the ring and I was really happy with that. But I'm a little bit disappointed. I thought I have to get these rings, but as I went to go get them, they were just a little bit out of my reach. the challenge begin. Hanmore claims one ring, but she needs more if she has to survive in this quest. The rapid waters have overpowered Hanmore. I thought my heart was going really fast. It was quite fast water. It was a lot faster than I expected. Quite glad that I did it, but still a bit cold from the water. Larsai, have courage and let the challenge begin. Brave jump. Larsa 
Jedi grabs his third ring. Can he claim a fourth? I'm gobsmacked that I got four rings. Because um, honestly, I thought I was going to get one, but I've got four. But when you stood on that little rock, it's like the nerves hit you really fast. Like, it was so scary and so happy. I've got more rings and I've got a high score, so very proud. Ladag, go forth and let the challenge begin. Ladag remains focused, despite these hostile waters. Courageous performance from this young warrior. The water was really fast, much well, faster than I imagined, but I didn't really notice it until the end. Once I got the third one, I saw I was coming to the last one. I was like, okay, forget this one. I'm in first place. And then once I got it, I was ecstatic. It's given me an amazing boost of confidence. I mean, it's it's kind of like every time I've done one in a challenge, I keep my confidence keeps on going up, and now I'm almost at the peak of it. Warriors, we have reached the end of the second day of your quest, and only three of you can continue into the next day. Ladag, with 19 rings, you have a lead over the other warriors. Piapta, you have done well with 18 rings, but that only puts you in second place. Larsai, 17 rings claims third place, and that allows you to continue into the third day. Hanmore, with only 13 rings, I'm afraid, this is the end of your quest. You must return home, but do so with your head held high. You have proven yourself a worthy and skillful warrior. Tomorrow, the remaining three will have the final chance to gather golden treasure rings to gain an advantage in the last stand. Which of you will be victorious? Who will go forward to the grand tournament and have a chance to be named as a true Warrior. Only tomorrow will tell. Four warriors have answered my call and joined me under the banner of the bear, each with the hope of being named as a true warrior and worthy of going to battle against the evil sorcerer Navar and his foul demons. To succeed, they must demonstrate strength, courage, agility and resourcefulness. Despite braving two days of challenges, the first of their number, Hanmore, has been eliminated. The Dead Man's Gorge proved a challenge too far, with the rapids overpowering her as she drifted out of the quest. So four have become three, now the fate of this trio will be decided in today's challenges. Who will fall to Navar's demons? Who will lead in the last stand? And who will win a place in the grand tournament? The ring tallies are close. Laydag leads with 19. Piatta is one behind with 18. And Larsai trails with 17. Every ring counts, for at the end of today, the warrior with the most rings will start first in the last stand. Let's see what today's challenges will bring. Young warriors, your courage is beyond doubt and your skills proven. But this journey is far from over. For every ring that you win or lose today could hold the key to victory or defeat. For the number of rings you have in your hoard, when we reach the last stand, will determine the advantage you have over your fellow warriors. 
You have shown yourselves to be worthy. Let us see if you can become a true warrior. Here between these ancient walls, you will discover a complex and challenging conundrum that guards three precious treasure rings. For any warrior to solve it, they must be quick of thought and clear in meaning. Warriors, when the time begins, one of you must enter the chamber ahead and assemble the pieces you will find there. Do this correctly, and you will reveal the symbols you will need to discover the rings hidden here. It will be for the other two to interpret your description of the symbols and use it to locate a basket using the banners before them. There are three sets of puzzles and three rings to find. But beware, for if you fail to locate all rings before the sands run out, or if you find three skulls, then you will be defeated and you will each lose a ring from your hoard. Warriors, are you ready to take the risk and search for this treasure? Yapta? Yes, Raven. I feel confident I'm ready to go. Larsai? Yes, Raven. I feel very confident in this challenge. Ladag? Yes, Raven. I'm confident we're going to crack this conundrum. Well spoken, warriors. Now take your places and let the challenge begin. Your time starts now. With the demons watching, finding skulls could doom our warriors. Come on, Ladag! Okay, first one! Go at the top! Green background, black sword at the top! Yellow background! Yellow background! Yeah. Yellow green background! Black sword at the top, yeah! Okay, and on the top, the shield is green and it's got a black sword! No, nope, it's none of mine. Is any of yours? Yeah, look, this, so like the background is green. Oh, yeah. So like a black sword. Have you yeah. got it? Okay, yeah, we've got the first. Okay. Yeah, what's next? Going clockwise, the second one is a white bird with a red background on the shield. Yeah, I have that one as well. Larsai okay, has mistaken the background colour. the yellow lion with a red background on the shield. Yes, I have that one. Study the boards carefully, warriors. Okay. Then we have three white ravens with a red background on the shield. Yeah. Okay, three white, yeah. Then we have a um, black sword and a green background. Yeah. Can Ladag's detailed description lead the warriors to treasure? Yeah. Right, so yeah, it's, got none got of my, it's none of mine. Yeah, it's this one. Okay, what's the other um, thing? Okay, I'm so making the other one now. Accuracy is important, but speed is the key to this challenge. Yeah, that's good. Okay. The next one has a green background yep. and then the top is a yellow background and a black sword. Yeah. Time is slipping then it's away. Then a red background and a white raven. Yes. Then it's a red background and a yellow lion. A red background and the a yellow... The warriors yes. must work quickly. The sands are running and, and could end this challenge before yes. the warriors have completed it. There are still three rings sword. to be found. Yes. Right, we've got it, we've got it, we've got it. I'll walk. Would not be the mid middle. Yeah. Think carefully before you make the choice. Revealing a skull could cost you dearly. Okay, I'm making the next one now. Yeah, okay. Should we flip it? Right, three, two, one. Yes! The yes, warriors yes, have found it. the first Woo! ring. Right, put it on top. Right, come on. We're doing good so far. Laydag, have you made the next one? I've almost, I've almost made it. Yeah? Yeah. Green background! Okay. Back on. Yep. Yeah. You must communicate clearly. The shield has a yellow background and a black sword. Yes. Red background and a white raven. Yes. Red background and a yellow lion. Yes. Red background and three white ravens. Yes. Blue background and a white sword. Yes. Right, we've got yeah. right, do the yellow one now. Yeah, I'm doing the other one. Half an answer is no answer at all yeah. if the Three sands run out. Okay, yellow yeah. background. Yeah. Okay, on the top, green shield, black sword. Yeah. Red background, white raven. Yeah. Red background, yellow lion. Yeah. Red background, three white ravens. Yeah. Blue background, black sword. Yeah. Green background, black lion. There are still yeah. two more rings Blue to be found. Oh, yeah. 
There is no time for hesitation. Hurry, warriors. The end. I think it's this one. Right. Okay. Wait, wait, wait. Yeah, yeah, right. Okay. We'll go for it. Three, two, one. Yes! A second yes! ring, and without so finding a skull, three. look to the next ring, warriors. The sands run thin. Speed is of the essence. Okay, yellow background. The shield has a green background and a black sword. Yeah. Red background, white raven. Yeah. Red background, yellow lion. Yeah. Red background, black key. Yeah. Blue background, black sword. Yeah. We're trying on to the other one. I've got the speed shield. Come on, quickly. One more, one more. Right, okay. on, the warriors must be where the sands okay, run quickly. Okay. Okay. Red background, white okay. raven. Yeah. Red background, yellow lion. Yeah. Red background, three white ravens. Yeah. Okay. Blue background, black sword. Yeah. Yellow background, black lion. Yes. Yeah. Blue background. The warriors white sword. are getting the yeah. measure of yellow the conundrum. Yellow background, black raven. Yes. I think we've got it. We've got it. We've got it. Okay, got it. Time waits for no warrior. The sands are almost gone. Are you sure? Are you sure? Okay. Yeah. Can you see any more? We thought that Laydag has had lots of experiences with the puzzles before, so we thought he'd be the best at puzzles. And then me and Larsai are quite good at listening to instructions, and that's how we decided. It was very nerve-wracking, but you just had to concentrate very hard. When we found out we only did it with only one second left, it was absolutely amazing, and we were just shocked. As a reward for their resourcefulness, Larsai, Piapta and Ladag each add a golden treasure ring to their hoard. A worthy prize for worthy warriors. Now each of them must focus on their own quest. Every ring counts when they reach the last stand, for the warrior with the most rings will begin ahead of the others. And it will be the warrior who reaches the portal first that enters the grand tournament. Welcome, warriors, to a challenge that will test your observation, perception, and persistence. There is more than one thread leading through this labyrinth. Woven into this puzzle is a set of ropes which wind their way to treasure or catastrophe. Find the route to the golden ring. Pull the lever and that precious treasure shall be yours. But lose your way amongst these magical threads. You will drop a skull instead of gold. Such a mistake will cost you precious time and a precious treasure ring. Larsai, you will be first to test your wits against this challenge. Do you feel ready to face the Loom Labyrinth? I am good at puzzles, so I feel very confident. Piapta. I'm a tad nervous because puzzles aren't my speciality. Ladag. Puzzles are what I'm best at, so I'm very confident. Three rings await. Let the challenge begin. Warrior, your time starts now. Like so. Calls wrong from there. Can this warrior oh. find his way through the labyrinth to release the golden Down treasure ring? That. Whoa. Right, let's check again. Hurry, warrior. The sands run low and the demon will awake. To where? Down to here. A ring is right, one. Ring there, so up to there, uh, round, comes down. Oh, I've lost it. Comes there to there, straight down, and then comes up here. Great concentration, Larsai, but time right. is precious. There, to the death. Comes across and up and here. A second ring is one. Is there time for a third before the demon awakes? So it's like, right. So, all the way to there. Warrior, your time starts now. Ladag has the most rings in his hoard. Can he add more here? Um, 
It seems Leodag has lost himself in the labyrinth. Okay. A ring is found. Will the Loom Labyrinth give up more of its treasures? Leodag's caution could be his downfall. Down and then close up. A second ring is released. Leodag must hurry. The sands are running out. Another warrior falls to the demon's gaze. Warrior, your time starts now. Piapta is next. Can she find the ring she needs in the Loom Labyrinth? I'm going for that ring there. It goes past there, through here, up to this one. A skull. This will cost a ring from her home. Piapta cannot afford any more errors. A second skull, and the demon awakes as the sands run out. Return, Larsai. I used my finger and followed the rope, and I think that tactic worked very well. When I got a ring, I felt very happy because I honestly expected that I wouldn't get a ring at all. Piatta, I bring you back from Navar's desolate realm. I'm quite disappointed that I lost two rings because the wind was blowing and I just didn't know where any of the rings were leading to. I thought that was a really tough challenge. I think that was probably the hardest for me yet. Ladad, return to your fellow warriors. My idea was to get the basket down in front of the ring first and then quickly check that if I'd got the right rope and follow it a few times. Unfortunately, that wasted a bit of time. Larsai and Ladag's tenacity in this challenge sees each of them earn two more golden treasure rings. But the skulls Piapta released cost her dearly. She loses two rings from her hoard. The damaging result leaving Piapta with a mountain to climb if she is to try and catch the others. <laughs> Navar's demons are pursuing our every step. <laughs> Piatta, you still have one chance to claim the rings you need to catch the others. Before you stands the perilous way known to all who must pass over it as the Demon Causeway. You must walk this path if you are to reach the last stand. Along the way though, you have the chance to take the golden treasure rings you need to take an advantage in the last stand. The only way to reach the rings will be to construct a causeway above it. Your only escape is to reach all five rings before your fellow warriors. But beware, touch the ground, drop a ring, or fail to make it back first, and you will suffer the demon's wrath. Warriors, are you ready to face the demon causeway? I'm really excited and I feel ready to go and I think I'm going to do this. I'm confident and I'm ready to go. I'm very confident, I'm very flexible, so I think my skill will come in handy. Spoken wisely, warriors. Now take your places and let the challenge begin. This is the warrior's final chance to win treasure rings before the last stand. Only the winner will add to their hoard in this challenge. The two defeated warriors will each lose a ring.
Remember, if a warrior touches the ground, the demons will awake. Larsai has taken the lead. Can he keep it? This challenge is a real test of the warrior's agility. Ladag and Larsai are neck and neck. That's not stable. Larsai's agility sees him take the first two rings, but he must race back to keep them. Ladag grabs the rings, but only the first warrior back will win. Piatta seizes her golden treasure rings and must race back to the start. Piatta has touched the ground. The warriors are close. Victory is in reach for Larsai. The causeway is conquered. Get him! I got it! My tactics were to just take my time and I was keep saying to myself, short and long, short and long, so I think that helped. I'm gobsmacked. I can't even fit them on one hand, um, but I can't believe I've got one, two, three, four, five wings. I'm so happy. I must use my magic to return Piatta. As I was moving the planks, I was really good when I got to the rings. And then just as I started to turn back, I got a bit stressed. And then I think I just lost balance and I fell off. I felt really disappointed as I thought, oh, that's the chance for five rings is gone. Ladag, I return you from Navar's realm. I think I could have done better because I think I was just trying to rush after I saw how far ahead last I was in front of me. I think it was just the nerves that got to me because my hands started shaking really a lot and that made it hard for me to get the planks down in the right place. Going into the last stand, I'm a bit nervous and a little less confident than I was before, but I'm, I still feel confident that I'm going to do well. Ladag and Piatta's defeat has cost each of them a golden treasure ring. Larsai's agility served him well, and he adds another five golden treasure rings to his hoard. As we head to the last stand, Larsai will begin the race with the greatest advantage. Raven of old sign. He must have news. I sensed you wanted to speak with me. Navar has made changes to the last stand. To cross this treacherous ground, the warriors must overcome a series of obstacles. To do so, each warrior must take a shield and then find the symbols that fit it. This is the only way to pass the demons waiting there. But be warned, Navar stands guard over the portal at the end. To escape him, the warriors require a magical talisman to open the portal. The warrior who achieves this will earn themselves a place in the grand tournament. Thank you. I will warn them of these dangers. I must fly swiftly to pass on this advice to the warriors. Warriors, it is a compliment to your skills that Navar fears you. That is why he has woven his magic across this stretch of land to stop you reaching the portal that waits at the end. Now you must face Navar's curses and overcome them if you are to enter the portal and reach the grand tournament. Do you have the courage to face Navar's wrath in the last stand? I do have the courage and I am determined to beat Navar. I'm ready, Raven. I've got the skills and the confidence to do this. I'm going to get to that portal. Spoken like true warriors, Larsai, you have won the most rings. You will start first in this race. Ladag, you have 21. You will start second. Piapta, with only 16 rings, you will start last. Race hard and believe in yourself. For only one of you may enter the portal. 
May the luck of the Raven's Eye be with you, and let the challenge begin. Larsai begins. Can he keep the lead he's fought so hard to earn? Woo! Ladak joins the race and catches Larsai immediately. Piapta has ground to make up. She must focus. Piapta is almost upon the others. They must build a ramp to reach the warrior's shield. There is little separating the warriors. The drawbridge is down. Remember Raven of Old's warning. The only way past the demons is to use your warrior's shield. Piapta and Larsai, keep faith. You can still catch up. This is very close. The reward, a place in the grand tournament. To pass the demons, all four symbols must be placed in the shield. Portal to the Grand Tournament awaits. The warriors must break through the doors to reach the talisman. Larsai's strength takes him through. All that remains is to place the talisman. The portal is opened. Larsai is victorious. A heroic performance from Larsai, demonstrating courage, strength, agility, and resourcefulness. The skills of a true warrior. The Bears send their qualifier through to the Grand Tournament. I cannot believe I'm going into the Grand Tournament. I honestly do not think I was going to make it this far, so I'm so happy. Warriors, return from Navar's realm. You will not be banished this day. Ladag, Piapta, though you will not travel to the Grand Tournament, you will return home with honor and there defend your home from Navar's evil. You have a warrior spirit and I am proud to have met you. I was really happy that I caught up with everyone once I'd started last because I thought, oh, I'm at such a disadvantage, but I tried to overlook that and I sprinted as fast as I could. I'm quite disappointed that I couldn't get to the portal in time, but I'm happy that I made it this far. I am very disappointed to not go into the finals, but I've had an amazing time doing it here. It's been one of the great experiences of my life and I can go home knowing that I've proved myself and hopefully have many more adventures with the experiences I've learnt here. Larsai, you defeated the last stand and entered the portal first. Your strength and skills have earned you a place at the start of the Grand Tournament. The challenges may have come to an end today, but soon they will begin again and a true warrior will be named. Next time, back, servants of Nabar. Four more challengers will join the quest to be named as a true warrior. Will they have what it takes to battle Nabar and his demons?